Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and um, we're going to have a few videos in a row about Windows updates uh, that will pretty much have all bases covered, meaning what to do, what you don't do, and what you could do. We'll call it like that because uh, depending on the situation that happens. This first video is about shutting down the, the computer while updates are happening. So what is the rule? And that is the rule that um, changed, it kind of changed over time um, because we have the rules of when Windows 7 and before was here, you knew that when Windows updates were happening, you wouldn't do anything. But on Windows 7 and before, what would happen is that updates would actually install themselves uh, live. You'd get updates, they would download, and then if you press that install updates while well, you were stuck in the here I am installing updates and here's the percentage going through and you really had no choice. That has changed slightly in Windows 8 but even more in Windows 10 and 11 where now they have actually several stages of Windows updates installs. And in those stages it's not all the same. The first stage that happens now today is that when you go and take a look at updates and your Windows updates, you'll have a time when in the background, it's going to say installing updates. Like for, for example, it happened while I was doing videos, doing other things today. I have, this is an insider um, machine, so I got a new insider build and now it's waiting for me to restart. So what happened is that while th that was installing in the background, I was using my PC to do other things. I was using my PC to make videos. I was using my PC to just like I use it regularly. And there is no problem doing that during the install phase here. It is meant to be like that. Uh, long gone are the days to, you know, that you use your PC, you can't use your PC or, you know, not do anything while the updates are there. This phase is meant to be happening in the background while you are still using computers. And so that this is to minimize the downtime, as we call it. Using your PC while updates are happening is not going to change anything. And it's not going to break Windows updates. That's the first thing. What happens if emergency, and I need to shut down my PC in this stage, the stage before the restart is required, that first phase where it's happening in the background, it doesn't matter. If you shut down your PC in the middle of that, it will continue on where it was when you pick it up later on. It That's not going to break anything. That's not where it's going to break things. Because that is simply making sure that everything's all right to push the updates during that phase when you can't use your PC. So the reason it's not going to break anything is you're not supposed to know it's happening. So nothing tells you that you can't shut down your PC or nothing tells you not to shut it down. It will shut down. And that's it. Because that phase is meant to be recoverable. That phase is not meant to be broken even if you shut down your PC and you restart later on. So it's not a problem. This is the phase where it's fine. Where you do not shut down your PC is when you click that restart now, for example, that you see here. Or when you want to shut down your PC, for example, I'll go here and you see that there's that little uh, power, a uh, little red dot with the power. And it tells you, um, you know, update and shut down, shut down, update and restart, restart. So if you choose update and restart or update and shut down, that there's different options. That's also why you don't need to stay there. So update and restart, of course, when that process starts, you're going to have to leave it alone and do what it needs to do. That usually isn't very long. That portion is the shortest one of all. This, for the majority of PCs, should not even be more than 20 or 30 minutes. If that takes, if that update when you restart takes three hours, your PC is screwed up because that on no PCs ever should be that long. Something's not right. Your hard drive's 
failing or you've got too many things on your PC running at the same time and the computer just works too hard. So, um, you, you know, even that update and restart phase here on my 12-year-old Toshiba doesn't take longer than maybe five or 10 minutes. It's a short amount of time. The long amount of time is the pre-install, as I call it, that is, comes before here. So pre-install, you shut it down, it doesn't matter. Now, if you click the update and restart, there is where it matters. You do not shut down in that phase because that's where you're gonna get stuck and Windows won't reboot anymore. The other thing is you've got options. When you click the, the shutdown on Windows updates, it offers you to shut down without installing anything. And that is something that is often overlooked by a lot of people. So remember there's shutdown, but there's a shutdown and an update and shutdown also. You could click the update and shutdown. It will update itself and once it's done, PC is going to shut down. You can move away and do other things. Your PC will be shut down at the end of the update process. And of course, there's the update and restart, which could be used if you're going to use your PC soon. So remember that there's all these options. And remember that the only phase where you can't shut down your PC in the middle of something is when it's in that restart phase. Because while it's doing the install phase in that you see in the settings app, it doesn't matter if you shut it down there because it doesn't tell you that it's doing that. I'm, in f matter of fact, the majority of people will get Windows updates and see that there's updates only because it's going to tell them, well, updates are ready to install because they'll never notice that in the background there were updates installing, which means... They don't know, which means they could have shut it down in the middle of that, and it's okay. It's meant to be okay to do that. So that's the situation on shutdowns and restarts with Windows Update. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.